What's up, fellow masters? It's your head master here from that Master 14, and welcome to Nights with Robot Boy and Friends. Now, this game was recommended by a fellow master of ours named At Real The Gaming. Shout out to you. And yeah, this game is also obviously a FNAF fan game, and it was inspired by Final Fantasy Freddy's, One Night at Flunkies, and a few other games I have never played on the channel before, so yeah. So with that being said, let us go ahead and start a new game. Night Guard Wanted. Ro Robot Boy's Heroic Fast Food Diner is currently hiring a security guard to work the night shift for three nights, 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. $1,500 earnings. Wow, really? Security cameras, equipments, and uniforms are provided for the safety of the Night Guard. Robo, Robo Battle Entertainment is not responsible for any disappearance, death, or dismemberment happening in the restaurant. Come alive and have fun with your old Robo Pals, Robot Boy, Robot Girl, Proto Boy, and even Tommy Turnbull. And you already know what this is. I'm not going to read the rest of that, but I should point out, look at the Easter eggs. Birthday Boy Blam and One Night at... Well, Birthday Boy Blam and uh, Flumpty Bumpty in the corners of these. So you can skip... You can skip this ringing by pressing S, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just read the dialogue. Press S to skip the cutscene. Press the screen. Reading test to continue. Oh. Oh, okay. Hello? Oh, hello there. You're the new night guard, right? Lance, I believe. Um, yeah. Who is this? Alright, let me introduce myself. I am Robert L. Patterson, a staff member of the restaurant as well as the manager's assistant. Just call me Rob for short. Oh, alright. Oh, alright. Wait, it's almost 8. I'm about to... I know, I know. Just calm down a bit, will ya? You know the reason why I'm calling you. It's because my manager told me to be your guy, so yeah. Not only that, I will be telling you some stuff about this place and a little backstory of former night guards. Overall, I'll teach you some basic stuff that you'll need to know for your first night. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Go ahead. I'm excited. <laughs> Don't get too excited, dude. Taking a job as a night guard of this place is literally, um... I don't really want to say it. Aw, oh, shucks. Don't be afraid. It's not It's not that big of a deal, isn't it? Aw, oh, yeah. I don't really cuss on the... I don't really cuss on the channel, so... Yeah, y'all gonna have to... I don't have the bleeper on, so y'all just gonna have to read that for yourselves. Yeah, so... What?! What did you say? Oh, sorry. I meant hard. Sorry if I said it wrong. Well, yeah, you did say it wrong, Rob. Oh, thank God. Sorry, sorry. Wait, where was I? Oh, yes. As I said earlier, taking a job as a night guard is quite difficult on your first day. So be careful, Lance. Yeah, but why is it hard? Gotta adjust it real quick. Well, the robots that we had here have been acting weird since our first night guard had taken the job a few months back. The robots? What happened to them? We had four night guards before you, but every time they were on overtime, they just disappeared without a trace. Oh, frick. What did you... What? Oh, is it? Oh, frick. Why did they even take the... The, the overtime in the first place. Well, I really don't know. I think it's really something to do with the robots. So you have to defend yourself at them. You have a bunch of stuff in your office and you can basically do whatever you want. But please don't call for help. Just don't. Even call 911 if you do. You'll even call 911. If you do, you'll regret it. I have also left a couple pieces of paper on your de office desk, which will show you show you how to avoid all the characters that can move throughout the night. I don't really have time to say that stuff on this call, 
because we're running out of time. Well, by the way, my face cam might be blocking some of this, but it says running out of time down here on the bottom right corner of the screen, which, yeah. So yeah, just go with it for now. Basically, there is a simple mechanic for each of them. Please stay alert and make sure you know what to do. Failure to defend yourself will result in them killing you. Apologies, Lance, but they're really hostile during the night. Well, you can already tell this is a fan game of Fridays and Freddy's. Oh my god, really? And let me guess, I have l I have last till 6? Does it mean I have to last till 6? Yeah. Yes, it's until 6 in the morning. Are you kidding me? 10 hours of me surviving myself from this hostile ro- this These hostile robots? There's no way I could survive. There's no way I could survive on all that- all this madness. I can't- I can't just quit either. I need money to pay my bills. Hey, calm down. You only last three nights here. Three nights here. And it's only nine minutes long. For the player, at least. Well, technically. Yeah, you know the rules, and so. Yeah, you know the rules, and so do I. <laughs> a, a little bit of never gonna give you up reference right there. And it's almost. Oh, it's almost eight. I really need to start working now. Thanks a lot for this for this info, Rob. And you and I'll and I'll read these papers right away. All right, Lance. Goodbye. And good luck. All right. All right. So um, yeah, this is the this is the tutorial. So we got the character descriptions. So from Robot Boy, Proto Boy. Robot Girl, Tommy Turnbull, Discontinue Robot Boy, and all that. But I'm going to start reading them. Robot Boy, I'll turn it down a little bit. Robot Boy, he starts at the show stage and will wander around the building. If he's, in, if he's in any of your doorways or the main hallway, shoot the door light or flashlight out and scare him off. If the power is out, he will rush to the left door and play a random nursery around the music box, officially killing you. Proto Boy. He starts at the show stage and will wander around the building. He will attack you via the left door or the main hallway. You see him in the left door closing. If you don't, he will jam and cause him to attack you after a few seconds. Otherwise, if he attacks in the main hallway, simply wait until he's on his second pose and put your mask on to make him scan you, eventually leaving. So he's basically kind of like Toy Bonnie in Final Fantasy 2, so... Robot Girl. She starts at the show stage and will wander around the building. He, she will attack you via the right door or the main hallway. If you see her in the right door, close it. If you don't, she will jam it, causing her to attack you after a few seconds. Otherwise, if she appears in the main hallway, put your mask in, put on your mask immediately and wait for her to leave. Tommy Turnbull. Uh, I should point out the first three. This is Robot Boy Mishimo. Proto Boy Mishimo and uh, Robot Girl Mishimo. So let's go ahead, Tommy Turnbull. Tommy Turnbull. He hangs out in Tommy's curtain in Camp Eight. He will slowly emerge from his curtain, eventually choosing which hallway to run down. Shut the appropriate door when you hear his noise cue to block him out. Fail to do so, and he will kill you. Keep in mind that looking at his curtain slows him down. So basically, like Foxy from Map One. And possibly Ultimate Custom Knight. And Funtown Foxy. And the assistant location Custom Knight. Discontinued Robot Boy. He hangs out. Uh, oh, yeah. Discontinued Robot Boy. He hangs out in the back. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm um, stopping myself, but. Yeah, Discontinued Robot Boy. He hangs out on the backstage alongside Discontinued Robot Girl and Golden Ruby. He will either enter your office in the black. How's that black? Back air vent. When you hear a slamming noise, shut the vent door on camp 4 to get rid of him. Otherwise, you can get in your office and disconnect your camera, steal your flashlight, and jam your door light controls. Discontinue Robot Girl. She hangs out on the backstage alongside Discontinue Robot Boy and Golden Ruby. She will try to intemper the generator in the breaker room from time to time. When she is in there, listen for a long, loud clank. Turn on the lights to blind her, and she will leave. Do nothing, she will destroy the generator and power will run out instantly. Golden Roby. 
He hangs out on the backstage alongside discontinued robot boy and robot girl. Well, discontinued versions of these two. At a specific point in time, he will tell you to find him, and your vision will start getting dimmer. You can dart through any camera on the map, stare at him until he goes away. If your vision reaches total darkness, he'll jump scare you. So he's kind of like, um, a puppet from Fazbear Entertainment Storage. If y'all haven't checked that out, uh, I think it was in Night 5, I think. Fazbear Entertainment Storage, he's on, it's just like that mechanic, so yeah. So is there any more? Oh yeah, this is game mechanic, basic controls. The red buttons are the door controls, and the green buttons are the light controls. Simple as that. Use, use the camera button, the static, and the computer for it to provide on the desk. Um, you can click on any button to see it in the cameras in the whole map. Exit the camera, simply right click. Pressing and holding the control will shine your flashlight and the talk. It also compares that to the battery of its own, and it drains fast, so conserve it properly. You also, may have a, you also have the main building power that slowly drains your sh during your shift. Keep your usage as low as possible and charge it off as you, if you can. So, this is all the cameras right here. Cam 4, Cam 4. This cam is, is Discontinued Robot 4. This cam is for Discontinued Robot 4 when he comes to the thing. Press S to shut it. For, temp, for Cam 8 is for Tommy's movement and progression. Cam 11 is the ability to charge your, recharge your power. Click the button and wait for a couple of seconds and your power will go up by 25%. Be warned, you can only do 3 charges per night and you can't charge it up unless you have power less than 75%. Cam 12, for this can you Robot Girl, where she tampers with the generator. Well, that's all, Flair, so good luck and have fun. Alright, let's begin. Ready? Set, go. Normal night. I should say, yep, normal night. Alright, and I did have a little practice with this, so I should be able to be it in at least as few attempts as possible, so. Yeah, so that's, uh, this is the main show stage, Camp 1. Robot Boy, Robot Girl, and uh, Proto Boy. This is the backstage. Get this continued versions of Robot Boy and Robot Girl and Golden Robot right here. But look at this. If I can get it to, yep. Ro Ro Golden Roby can do those two poses while he's just sitting down. This is Cam 3, audio only. Arcade room, this is um, Pac-Man, <laughs> Geometry Dash, Among Us. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies, and Sonic the Hedgehog. The restrooms, um, the, the main area. Um, yeah, this is Cam 11, we recharge, recharge the power. 9A, 9B, 10A, 10B, they're, they're on both sides of the office and it's already 1 a.m. Oh, not 9 p.m. We're already 10% through the night, so 10B, this is the camera, and if you can't see 10B, my face cam is down here, so, and 13 is the vent for ro discontinued robot boy to enter, so... So now let's go ahead and focus. And they're already at, uh, they're already in that area, in the main area. So press control for that. And then you just um, press the green buttons to turn on the lights and get the hallway. And this is closing the doors. Yeah, so the only two that really comes to the doors are, aside from Tommy, is Proto Boy and Robot Girl. Well, Robot Boy can't appear in any of the hallways too. You just have to, you don't have to close the door on him. You just have to shine a light at him. And there goes Tommy. So we should come up close to doing our first charge. Oh, look, the cupcake. That's Robot Girl's cupcake. So man, the only cameras I really want to check is um, Cam 8, which is optional, Cam 4, Cam 9B, and Cam 12. Because 
because those cams are crucial. Every other camera is, uh, well, cam 13 or it's 11 p.m. Cam 13 is is optional. It's optional until bro until discontinue robot boy goes inside that room. Let me go ahead and charge the power up. Charge the power up real quick. Okay, now we're back up to 93. Alright, so let's go ahead and check this. Oh, Proto Boy is almost here. Let's see where he'll appear this time. Oh, yeah. So this is that's a uh, proto boy right there. And Tommy Turnbull's about to start appearing. Who's there? Oh, we're forty percent. And I'll probably say it for fun in this uh, halfway there line. When it gets to, um, what's it? Oh, put the mask down. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. There you go. Alright, let's check, uh, Cam 12, see if it's in there. Well, really, any clanking sound, I just gotta check the cameras, like, immediately. Oh, who is that? He came from the left. That banging noise is not, um, what time is it? Oh, oh look at the time, it's 1 a.m. Oh, we're halfway there. <laughs> Wait, is she gone? Yeah, she's gone. Let's go ahead and get cam four. Nope, he's not there. Oh, Proto Boy's back. Yeah, there's Proto Boy in there. Let's see here. Um, and as a bonus, if I beat it on this attempt. No, that's Robot Boy. Put the mask down. See, this is what Toy Bonnie does in the, in the um, in the Fantasy Phrase 2. Make sure nobody's there. Then check that. Yeah. Robot Boy doesn't mess with the power. But discontinue robot girl cams. Oh shoot! Put the mask down. Come on, robot girl, discontinue. What was that? There you go. He came from the right door, so we have to close it. Let's open it. There you go. All right, it's 3 a.m. This is where I'd usually say we're halfway there, but since since the night is uh since it's 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, Proto Boy is almost there. Wait, which side is that? Let me check this room right here. Nope. Close that. Let me go ahead and charge the power up real quick. Oh, find him. That's Golden Roby. Way too easy. Is he still there? And it's all what AM. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. I'm just trying to check. I'm just trying to check it. And I think that's Robot Girl. Let me check it. Oh, robot. 
Robot Girl is in! Robot Girl is in here! I'm so gonna die, yo! So we made it to 4 a.m. So we'll jump cut. So I'm gonna jump cut it right here until we get back to 4 a.m. Alright guys, we're back at 4 a.m. This is where I messed up last time and I was trying to uh This is what this, that's what got me killed last time. And I really need to save my power. My flashlight power in particular. Oh, close that close that other door. Alright, so seen this continue robot girl yet probably because she's too scared Call a master working at this game. Let's go! Alright, so that was the normal night of nights with Robot Boy and friends. Um, and next video on this game, if y'all want to see it, we're, we're gonna do the uh, robot battle, uh, robot battle uh, night of this game. So, yeah, and by the time you, by the time you see this video, I'll already be working on uh, Five Nights at Mr. Hugs Night Three, as I originally intended to do Nights Three and Four in that game. And um, yeah, after I saw the difficulty at Night Four, I was like, I just gotta do Night Three. I'll do Night Four at a different time on that game. So that is it for normal night of Nights with Robot Boy and Friends. So if y'all want to see more, go ahead and get that like button, the Master Punch, subscribe today, join the Master Community. Now, see you guys next time. Tell me like a hell cut.